Hello everyone, it's Nick, and I'm sure you all got the news by now that Russell Westbrook is having a homecoming. He's going to the Lakers to join forces with LeBron James and Anthony Davis. So here I am to give you my thoughts on that, and to be quite honest with you, I'm actually not celebrating this at all. I actually don't really like it. And it's not because I don't like super teams, and it's not because I have anything against Russell Westbrook. In fact, he was my favorite player in the league not that long ago. And I actually do still like him now, but why I don't like this move actually? First of all, the fit, having another ball dominant star with LeBron, and also the fact that Russell Westbrook is owed over $90 million for the next two seasons, while LeBron and AD already have their mega deals of their own. At least both he and LeBron only have two years left on their deals, but they don't have a lot to work with to fill the rest of the roster out now. Now, trades are not official until August 6th, so I guess I can hope things fall through even though I doubt it. I guess I should give Russ a chance though, because he has yet to even play a game for the Lakers. I hope I'm wrong, but if I'm being honest, yeah, I'm not optimistic about this. So before we go any further, if you could please like the video if you're liking what you're seeing so far, that'd be much appreciated. That's how we get this out to more people. And also if you can please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more sports content, that'd be much appreciated as well. And also if you could please follow my social media, all the links are in the description, I will follow you back. So we all know that the Lakers need shooters and the first move they make in this off season is trading for Russell Westbrook, a guy we know is is not a good shooter and we know is a very ball dominant player something the Lakers already have in LeBron the Lakers were linked to Buddy Heald not that long ago and I gladly would have taken that instead even if Buddy Heald doesn't even play a lick of defense now before you go crazy yes Russell Westbrook is undeniably a better player than Buddy Heald don't get me wrong there I think that's clear as day it's fit that I'm worried about though not talent because we know that Buddy Heald would fill in the need for a shooter, which Russell Westbrook does not. Now I do love Russell Westbrook's intensity. We don't see a whole lot of guys who are as intense as Russell Westbrook in today's game. I love that about Russ. And he also just averaged a triple double again last season. I said not that long ago that I think Russell Westbrook had more to do with the Wizards making the playoff push when they looked dead in the water for much of the season than Bradley Beal did outside of scoring. But again, bad fit, also questionable decision making in crucial moments of games have really cost his team a lot of games throughout his career. So this kind of stuff really does worry me. Also, wasn't Russell Westbrook unhappy with how James Harden just got to have his way all the time in Houston? If so, well, I can't imagine Russell Westbrook being any happier playing alongside LeBron because we know LeBron is known to demand control too. He's just good enough to get away with it. The Lakers are also acquiring 2024 and 2028 second round picks. If the Lakers can get a Draymond Green or Chris Middleton out of that, that would be nice, but obviously we cannot bank on that. As for the guys that the Lakers gave up, Montrez Harrell, KCP, Kyle Kuzma, and the 22nd overall pick in this year's draft, which was Isaiah Jackson. I'm not really too worried about the guys that they gave up. And yeah, I'd rather have Trez than Andre Drummond because at least Trez has some resemblance of a post game and has some touch around the rim. Sure, neither Trez or Drummond are good on defense, but at least effort is something I'll never question about Trez. And I don't even want Drummond back on a minimum wage. I know I've said that before, I'll gladly say it again, that I don't even want him back on a minimum wage. But it's not like the Lakers actually really need Montrez Harrell. Rather having him than Andre Drummond is really not saying much at all. Now, Kyle Kuzma, yes, he did make strides on defense last year and the year before, and he's been very good at cutting to the basket, but his shot selection is horrible. He settles for threes way too much. KCP, he has been a solid 3 and D player for the Lakers, but he can also be streaky, but he was an important piece to a championship squad last year. Same with Kyle Kuzma. Even if Kyle Kuzma wasn't actually an ideal third option on a championship team, he was part of the team nonetheless, so... To Kuz and KCP, I wish them the best, and I'll thank them for contributing to a championship team. And I can definitely see Kyle Kuzma going back to averaging 16 to 18 points per game on the Wizards, 
And if they do trade Bradley Beal and the Wizards go full rebuild, I can definitely even see Kyle Kuzma averaging 20 points per game. Trez though, yeah, like I said, I'd much rather have him than Drummond, but also at the same time, I don't really have anything to thank him for. I'm not gonna wish that he fails, but he hasn't given me anything to be grateful about, so it's whatever with him. Now, I will also talk about some positives, and these are things that have been brought to my attention that I think are fair points, is that Russell Westbrook can cut down LeBron's minutes. I know it's not just me as a Lakers fan who does believe a healthy team would have repeated, and if they were healthy, I don't think they would have panicked and gotten Andre Drummond. And I hope LeBron can be willing to play more off ball. He's definitely capable of it. But we need to actually see him do it. We know he does stand around without the ball and he likes to dribble the air out of the ball which takes guys out of rhythm. But now with Russell Westbrook, he's going to need to play off ball. As for Anthony Davis, he'll need to play center more whether he likes it or not. Frank Vogel's going to need to demand it. I know he doesn't like contact and that's the one thing that holds him back. If he were willing to take more contact, the sky would be the limit for Anthony Davis. Since this trade is very unlikely to fall through, all right, just gonna have to go with as if it is happening. In fact, it almost is official. Trades are not official until August 6th, but the chances of this falling through are extremely low. So I wanna see LeBron play more power forward and Anthony Davis as center. Insert THT into the starting five. Starting shooting guard is a hole on this team that this team has to address. Maybe they re-sign Wesley Matthews, but I don't see him as that guy after the season that he had last season and how unlucky he was to join the Lakers the year after they win a championship to get bounced from the first round and for him to have to leave the Bucks right before they win a championship. Hey, maybe bring back Danny Green on a discount. I'd be open to that. Now, I haven't sounded really optimistic about this trade, but I do hope I'm wrong. I really do hope that Russell Westbrook can help bring this team a championship. Now that he's the third best player on this team, another thing that was brought to my attention that, yeah, I think is fair. He's now the third best player on the team, so less pressure on him. And if this does work out, if Russell Westbrook can actually turn into a good three-point shooter, which my advice to you, don't bet on. But if he does, then it's also less pressure on LeBron James and Anthony Davis. And Mike Rosemba pointed out that Jason Kidd was once an awful three-point shooter and he became a great one in his early 30s. So it's possible, but I just don't think it's a good idea to bet on the fact that Russell Westbrook is going to significantly improve his three-point shooting. And you know, Russell Westbrook's contract is my other issue, like I've said before. But you know what? Another good thing out of this that I just thought of on my own is the fact that they're very unlikely to give Dennis Schroeder the $30 million a year that he's demanding, and he is delusional for asking for that kind of money. If he can come to his senses and ask for more reasonable money, I'll be glad to have him back but as long as he's asking for way more money than he actually deserves bye felicia so that's gonna do it for now thank you so much for tuning in i'll be glad to hear what you guys think i love hearing from you guys so yeah please get down in the comment section and also if you guys can please like subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't done that yet that'd also be much appreciated if you can stay tuned for more sports content more mlb trade deadline stuff on the way big day in la with russell westbrook to the lakers and max scherzer and trey turner to the dodgers i don't have much to say about the nba draft because i'll be honest with you that's not my expertise also nfl training camp stuff i want to talk about it's a busy time so i hope you guys can stay tuned for what i have next so all right i'm out peace talk to you next time